Hey guys, Steve Walsh, Beeman Toyota here with your TTLS, your Toyota trim level series. Um, I am now going to show us here the 2019-2020 uh, RAV4 LE Hybrid. Um, once again, my credentials are I am master certified in everything Toyota. Um, I am a certified product specialist. I am sales society winner with Toyota and a product trainer and mentor here at Beeman. So I definitely do know my products. So um, looking at this RAV4 LE Hybrid, um, you're going to notice a lot of similarities between this one and the LE non-hybrid. Um, there are some differences though, so that is why I wanted to go ahead and do this one by itself. Um, now all LE hybrids and actually all hybrids uh, for the RAV4 will be all-wheel drive. They have an all-wheel drive system where there is no physical connection between the front and the back wheels. Um, so it's uh, you're not worried about a drive shaft running back, anything like that. It's all uh, the hybrid motor does it a little bit different. Um, so uh, you will always notice a hybrid in Toyota by having your blue around the emblem. Um, you're going to notice your LE here. You do have your LED headlights. That is uh, standard on the RAV4 now. Um, and you do have your 2.5 liter motor uh, paired with your hybrid motor. And uh, a lot of people have asked me if I'd show that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come in here. I'm going to pop this hood for us. Which your hood, hood release is right here. Fuel door is right beside it on the left. The hybrid has a push button fuel door um, open where the non-hybrids do not. The non-hybrids have the same type of a pull as for the hood. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this here. So we can kind of take a look. Um, bear with me, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, catch down here. Sorry about those squeaks. That's just me trying to work with one hand here. All right, so. I'm going to take a look down here. You're going to see you have your 2.5 liter motor, and that's that's right here in the center. Um, that is paired with your hybrid motor, which is over here. Um, so it does look a little different under the hood. So just kind of showing you that. Um, chances are most people that own a hybrid are probably not going to be ever looking under the hood. Um, there's very few of us that actually uh, that, that want to. They're, they're... Now I will um, point out that... Uh, some people ask, well, hybrids, they're more expensive to maintain, aren't they? They're actually, there's less moving parts in a hybrid. So they're, and your brake pads in an average car have a tendency to last about 60,000 miles. In a hybrid, they hit closer to 100,000 for your front brakes because of the kinetic braking system. So um, it's definitely, I'm going to go ahead and shut this here. So bear with me on how my phone is going to look here, but um, I'm going to, there. So, um, like I said, apologize for the shakiness there, but uh, wanted to show you that. So, um, but it, the braking system, back to that, it actually uses the electric motors to help slow down the wheels. So it actually can help to prolong um, your brakes. So a lot of people, I've had people tell me they're getting over 100,000 miles on their front brakes, which uh, it helps to lower costs because brakes are one of those more expensive things to do. So um Definitely helps to lower your costs. So anyway, we're going to get back to the features of this LE here so that, uh, you know, because I know that's why you're looking at this video because that's how I've set these up to, to help you guys look. So you're going to notice on the front here, there is a spot for fog lights, but there are no fog lights. The LE does not have fog lights. You don't get fog lights until you get to the XLE. You'll also notice no sunroof. Um, none of the LEs will have sunroof. It's not even an option. You're going to have your black mirrors instead of color coded. You get your color coded once you get above the XLE. Um, so kind of looking at the, uh, the sticker here, I like to show people this 40 combined 38 highway, 41 city, um, on an SUV that is amazing, amazing fuel economy. Um, you can kind of look at the back here. You can always tell as well, Toyota puts their badges on the back LE, and then they'll also have hybrid. They'll also put hybrid on the side. And again, your emblem is going to have your blue on it. So I'm going to lift this and you can see you do not need a lot of room behind the vehicle to actually lift up the back end there. Um, this one comes with carpeted floor mats. Now, floor mats are an option, but they'll list usually. Most people get them with either all-weather or carpeted mats. It's very rare that you'll find one that's ordered with no mats, but you can get them without any mats. Uh, I just don't know why most people would do that. But um, looking at the back here, just shows your uh, area in the back. Once again, you still have your full-size uh, spare tire and your pre-risen uh, jack back there. So that is something that is cool, too. Um, 
You also have your handles up here, by the way. That's on all of them. You do not have a power up, power down tailgate in the LE. It is not an option until you get to the XLE. Um, we're going to open here. Now, here is something that is different on your RAV4 uh, hybrid, your LE hybrid, that is um, than it is on the non-hybrid. And you'll see right here, which I'll take my hand out so it refocuses, but right there you have your vents in the back. The hybrid LE will give you your rear vents. Um, that's on the non-hybrid, you can't get that until you're in the XLE and above, but on the hybrid, they're putting the vents in there. So um, that is something that is really, really cool too. All of them have your fold down center console, 60-40 fold down seat. In order to fold down, you just grab this right here, pull and, forward and fold it down. 60-40 is the split for the back there. And uh, then you also have the ability to put it in two different positions in the seat there. So um, this is the cloth interior. This is black. So, um, and you'll notice there's a couple different shades there. If you can look real uh, good, it's not like black, black, but uh, it's, it's definitely black interior, but uh, it's, it gives you a couple shades. It's just not solid. Um, now your seat, you're going to notice you don't have a power seat. Power seats comes in your XLE, um, but you have your pump here, so you can actually pump the seat up. And I don't know if you can see it moving or not, but you pull that, you'll pump it up. Do this, you'll pump it down. Um, and then this is for the back. Um, so you're, uh, we'll kind of get in here and I'll kind of give you a, a little idea of what we're looking at here. Now, first off, normally with most hybrids in Toyota, you have a push button start. This one has a key. And you'll see this is your key on this one. So you have the little um, button that uh, switches there and that's your back of the key. So um, that's how it works. You put your key in here, you turn it. And once you turn it up, you just wait for everything to settle down. You know, it always turns your lights on, gives you some dings in that. But it's, and, and this one turned on. It'll turn on if it needs to, it'll stay in electric mode if it doesn't. So um, just kind of looking at that, you're gonna notice that's a difference uh, between the LE and the, uh, uh, or sorry, between the, the most of the hybrids and the LE. So all of the other hybrids are push button start. The LE will still have a key. Um, so now, and I'm gonna point out too that some of the uh, LEs can also have the blind spot monitor. Um, there is a package that allows the blind spot monitor. It's a BD package. If uh, you have somebody that's trying to look it up for you, the package is a BD. So, um, but that's the blind spot package in the LE hybrid. Um, you're gonna notice this is your seven inch screen. Um, it's, uh, you can get an eight inch screen, but you gotta go up to the next level. It's not available in this particular level. The seven inch screen is standard. Um, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay. Um, and the, in the 19s, we'll have Apple CarPlay. The 20s will have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and your Alexa capabilities. Um, and you also have your Alexa capabilities in the 19 as well. But um, the Android Auto was not available until the 20s. So um, this is specific to the hybrid that you have your energy monitor where it'll uh, look for it. Obviously you're not uh, needing that on anything that's not a hybrid. It's just kind of giving you the idea. You can see where, where the battery's at. It looks electric motors, just kind of giving you a um, quick uh, look at what it is. You also have your Toyota app suite. So if you uh, want to use your Toyota app, you can do that. And uh, it gives you, um, you know, like it's, it's uh, Kind of like a one-stop shop for everything for the radio if you're using carplay or android auto you're not going to be on the app while you're doing that so um, you can be bluetooth if you're not you have to be plugged in in order to use and, and when i say plugged in there's a usb that's right here you have to be plugged into that usb in order to use carplay or um android auto just to move the information so um and i'll and i'll link the information on that to the bottom of the video as well on, on how to uh, enable the uh, CarPlay and um, your Android Auto in both systems. So um, there's two different ways to do it, whether you have the 19 or the 20, they are different. So I'll link both of them below. Um, you do have your brake hold in this one as well. Uh, brake holds, it is uh, all across the entire uh, spectrum of the RAV4s and I'll link in the description information about the brake hold that way I don't have to make this video an hour long. So um, I'll link about that. You have all of your safety sense um, which is right here and, and that's how to turn it on turn it off and how to use it I'll also have a link in the description on those if you want to learn more about safety sense It's it really is the premier safety system in any vehicle in my opinion So back to the differences in the LE you're gonna notice this has dual automatic climate control 
Now, where that's important is that on the LE and the non-hybrid, you do not have dual climate control. You have this in the hybrid though. You also have your ability to go into an eco mode here, an eco, and then this, what it does, does is actually senses if somebody's in the back seat, and if somebody's not in the back seat, it will save you energy by not specifically uh, directing air to the back seat, so or air or heat. So it's gonna try to save you energy by having that turned on. Um, when you hit auto, it's going to work like a thermostat and it's going to try to get you to whatever temperature you set it to. If you hit sync, everything goes to the driver and then it'll all move with the driver. So, um, that is a really, really nice option. Uh, some people ask, you can get heated seats on the LE. You can't get heated seats on the LE in the RAV4, uh, whether it's hybrid, non-hybrid, the heated seat is not available until you get to the XLE. Um, you also can't get the winter weather package or the convenience package, which has, the convenience package has your rear lift gate in it and that. Um, and the weather package has like your heated steering wheel and stuff along those lines. Those are only available in the next level up. So definitely look at the XLE um, video if you want to know more about those. Um, all of these are going to have your SOS button, which if I can focus on it there, uh, SOS button, what that is that if you hit that button, it can, it can work kind of like 911. Um, it is not 911. Um, you will hit that button. It'll make a phone call to the um, Toyota uh, Center. They'll ask you if you have an issue. Uh, say, hey, I have a flat tire. I need to get it replaced. And they'll ping your car, figure out where you're at, and send you help. Uh, your roadside assistance is included for the first two years uh, on a new Toyota. Um, and the SOS button is included for the first year after that it is $80 a year or $8 a month uh, for that SOS button. So uh, it's, uh, if you find value in that, definitely do that. Uh, it can give you some peace of mind uh, just in case you leave your phone at home, something like that. Um, it does not need your phone to call. The car, the car will call on its own through a dedicated type line that's in the car um, and a data, data communications uh, uh, connector that we have. So. Um, Definitely, definitely uh, a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. The hybrids are amazing. You have 219 horsepower, um, which uh, the non-hybrids have 203. So your overall horsepower is better in the hybrid. Um, so that's definitely something to consider. Um, and once again, I'll show you this down here. This is different. They're all all-wheel drive. This is different on your hybrid. So you have your trail, which is for your off-road, your eco, you turn it for eco, turn it for sport, push it back for normal and then your EV electric vehicle mode. Electric vehicle mode works up to about 25 miles per hour. After that, you're gonna turn back to your hybrid mode or if you were to mash the gas and it said you know that you're, you're asking it for more power, the car will automatically switch it off of EV mode to give you more power. So um, also I'll show you here on your dash, it's a little bit different. Instead of the RPM gauge over here, you have a charge eco and power gauge um, that is a little bit different than uh, actually it's a lot different than what uh, comes on the gas version gas version that is an rpm gauge this one's just kind of showing if you're um, what you're doing if you're charging if you're uh, um, using energy or, or things like that it's kind of showing you that information so um, and then you have all of your stuff that's on the dash there too, which I can kind of scroll through some of these menus um, where you can get your digital speedometer that's available or actually is standard on the LE. Uh, go back because I got the door open here. You can kind of scroll through and just kind of see all of your menus that are on here. Um, that's your lane departure. Um, this is your trip distance. Just tell how long you've been driving. This is how you shut off part or turn on part of your um, safety sense system. And then messages if you were like low on fuel or maintenance due or something like that would show up right there. So I'm um, just kind of giving you a little bit of that. You also have up top here, when you open this mirror, it, uh, sorry, when you open this mirror, you'll also turn on that light as long as you don't have this off too, too high. And then once you start to close it, it can actually shut off the light. Or if you close this, it could shut off that light. Um, your standard mirror, it is not a self-dimming mirror. It's not available on the RAV4 LE. Uh, you can't get that until you get to the next level up in the XLE and the digital review mirror is XLE as well. So, um, and it's an option in the XLE. It's become standard in the limited uh, in the XSE. So um, just trying to give you, like I said, a little bit more of a rundown on the 2019-2020 RAV4. Um, like I said, I'm sitting in a 19 now. I've given you the differences between the 19 and the 20, um, which there are a few, but uh, it's mainly the Android Auto availability that most people are concerned about when you're telling them about the 
20 or the 19 RAV4. So if you have to have Android Auto, uh, you're looking at a 20. If uh, CarPlay is what you're more after than the 19 or the 20, both of them would work for you. So um, once again, Steve Welch with Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. If you're looking for a car, definitely hit me up. If you have any questions at all, uh, put them in the comment section. I uh, try to answer every comment. Um, that way uh, you know that I'm, uh, I'm listening to you guys. Um, if you have questions or you want to see a particular video or a particular vehicle, I'm working with the Toyota Trim Level Series. That is uh, my series here that I'm trying to put together. Um, I will keep uh, getting more and more videos out there to help you guys find the right car for you. Uh, and hopefully I've answered your questions on this LE RAV4. Uh, look for additional videos that I've got on both the hybrid and the non-hybrids uh, to help find that right vehicle for you. So once again, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, today is actually New Year's Day that I'm uh, videoing this. So uh, happy New Year if you're seeing it now. Um, uh, but other than that, definitely uh, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and uh, giving that, that thumbs up. Uh, you guys are great. Love you all. So um, definitely Beeman Toyota, Steve Welch, downtown Nashville. You guys have a great new year. We will talk to you soon.